Alright, welcome back to this project guys, uh, it's part 3 now, uh, thanks if you've watched the other two parts, I know it's quite boring setting up a terrain and watching me do it, but it has to be done and we'll get onto the good stuff a bit later, but this is a good video, in this video I'm going to show you a little trick, um, how to make a barrier around the lake, it's a very dynamic object uh, or environment, so putting a box collider here and there will not do the trick, we need to be a bit more clever than that in this video, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick. I haven't seen it on YouTube before, so I think it will be quite handy to put on. So uh, we want to make a little barrier around this lake. So I'm going to go into a Y perspective, and this is the area we kind of want to go around. So I'm just going to print screen it, guys. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to press Shift Command and three. That's done that, and uh, I've got Maya open. So all we're going to do is. Um, as the image plane in the top view, we're just going to put the screenshot. So there we go. If you've got more time, guys, you might want to cut it out and get rid of this bit and stuff, but it doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, if we go into the perspective, <laughs> it looks kind of cool already, but I'm just going to make a cube, not a cylinder, a cube, <laughs> and um, bring it up a bit. Go into a smooth shade all, uh, go to a face and all I'm going to do is extrude this out to make the shape you want to make so let's just uh, focus on this kind of um, right click extrude face and all we're going to do is make the shape of the lake so simple as that press G to re repeat the previous command so extrude uh, up to this point it's not too bad and it's not that heavy on the polygons so it won't take up much overhead in unity alright from this area it kind of gets a bit curvier so I'm just to, to be extra careful I'm going to rotate these bits here just to make things a bit nicer alright so rotate it back rotate looks like it's lining up quite well all right so let's just do that again just an extrude and rotate job guys it's nothing hard um let's just do that that looks all right let's just tidy it up and okay extrude again whoops wrong way <laughs> so bit more really neat trick for um, making barriers on your terrains okay just do that one more time okay so I think that would be alright if it's not we can easily edit it so that's our object guys uh, so if you want to edit the curves you can always go into an edge select the loop try and select the loop and go to a um, slide edge tool, you know, you can do that and edit the shape a bit. If you're really fussy, we can go and select uh, edge ring tool. <laughs> we can select this ring and smooth out the normals. Uh, and that's our object. So we're going to select it, um, export selection, put it into our project. So this is the one, assets. Let's make a new folder called models. And let's call this lake barrier. Export it out as an FBX file. It's in our project now. So um, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to make a separate game object. I'm going to call it Lake Barrier. Okay, um, I'm actually going to change the scale factor to 1 actually because then it'll be a lot bigger. Uh, go to apply. Alright guys, so let's get a component in our lake barrier physics a mesh collider so we can apply any mesh to this kind of collider and where it says mesh let's just choose the objects we've just done so it's too small but the important thing is it's, it's in proportion so we need to do is scale it uh, let's rotate it 180 in the Y and all we need to do now is scale it up so maybe it'll be easier to be, do this in a Y uh, Let's put it right to the edge. Remember to scale it proportionally to keep that all important proportion and push it in like that, guys. That's all we need to do. 
So easy as that, that's our barrier. And it goes all the way around. Um can we make it a bit nicer? Oh, that'd be alright I reckon. Can the character fit squeeze through? Probably can't. So the last thing I want to do, again go into our terrain and just make sure these edges are high enough so the character can't squeeze through. So do that. Um and for some reason there's a circle there. Hopefully I can just smooth it out. Yeah. Just make things a bit narrower for the user. So let's double check. Yeah, that looks fine. The character won't be able to go on the lake now. So simple as that guys. Uh use Maya to make your own shapes, your own barriers. I'm just going to play the game to show you that it works. Let's go. Boom. Done. So, yeah, that's a bit, a bit dodgy. The character gets a bit stuck. So again, just go to your terrain and tweak it out. So, push these up. Push it up a bit. Don't want to be too fussy here, so just gonna. All right, guys, you get the picture. So um, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you make your barriers. Uh, like I say, I haven't seen it on YouTube before, so hopefully it's uh, handy for you. I'm gonna put it in my barriers object. So once we click it, we can see all our barriers, or should be able to. Um, oh, that was our terrain, guys. Uh, lake barrier, sorry and there we go that's our barriers so that's it guys thanks for watching the video um in the next video i'll uh either model the turbine or make the particle effects i haven't made up my mind yet i'll probably do the particle effects just keep things in unity and at the end go into maya put the uh, turbine in we'll go from there all right so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video